Welcome back to episode two of the vlog. It's uh, it's been weird. Uh, I meant to do this about a week ago, and life sort of got away from me. It's busy. Despite not having a job, it's still pretty busy uh, around the holidays. Uh, my wife had her holiday party at work. I went and took a couple pictures there. Here's some. And then we went to uh, went up to Redding, California, where my wife is from, and uh, went out and looked at some Christmas lights and got some photos of the family. And then we had Christmas. It was a weird Christmas this year because, you know, even though we're going to be okay, we're going to be fine. When you don't have that specific amount of money coming in every week that you've sort of patterned your life around, it's a little bit weird. So it wasn't like this huge Christmas. It wasn't like the big Christmas gift that uh, normally would have done. Uh, my father-in-law got me the beautiful Canon lens that uh, shooting this on, the EFS 24 millimeter, um, which on a tripod shooting me looks fantastic in the office. Um, and just a few little things here and there. And uh, but you know, a Merry Christmas. We had we had a fantastic time. We had family together, and that was really the important thing with all of this. But back to the whole blog thing. Um, you know, being out of the workforce for a few weeks now, it's really weird how much it just becomes part of you. You get into this routine and everything is the routine. I get up, I make coffee, I take a shower, I get dressed and I go to work. And then you work for eight, nine hours a day and then you come home and you make dinner, and you watch some TV, and you go to bed so you can get up and do it all again and again and again. And you tend to lose focus on the important parts of life, uh, like taking the time out to, I don't know, go to the doctor and check on your health. You're like, ah, that'll wait. Um, so I've taken care of that. And you get out of the idea that my job is my life, which for the longest time, it's like, oh, who are you? And it's like, oh, I'm so-and-so. And, -so. and instead of who I am, it would be, here's what I do. Because people ask you all the time, what do you do? They don't ask who you are because they find it more interesting kind of what your job is. It's the way they can sort of go back and forth. But it's really important, I think, to take a little time every now and then, even if you've got the job and you've got the career and you're doing it every day, to really... Take a look at who you are and what's important to you and really sort of prioritize those things. I mean, as I move forward and I move into whatever my next job might be, I don't want to lose sight of the fact that some of these things are super important to me and I don't want to miss out on them. Like the podcast that I do with Kareem and Jason, that is so important to me. And it's something I've been doing since 2011. So clearly it's a priority, I've been doing it. The photography that I've been doing, that I've been doing more of. The vlogging that I'm just starting to do, which I think is going to evolve into other things in terms of creativity. That isn't, even if I've got a creative job, I wanna be able to have a little bit of that creativity for myself to make something that this is me, this is what I like, this is what I'm about, as opposed to just, here's something I did for a client. I mean, that's great because it's important, it's reflective of the quality of your work, but it's only a hint of you. It's that little bit of you that says, I'm, I'm really focused on doing good work, but it doesn't really have your soul that a creative project would have. Uh, I think a great example is uh, Peter McKinnon just put out a short film and, called The Bucket Shot. And it sort of chronicles his quest to get this one photograph over the past several years. I want to have that passion project. I haven't had that passion project aside from the podcast, which at a certain point is a bit of a routine too, but I want to have that passion project. And I just get so into get up, go to work, repeat, get up, go to work, repeat, that I never had that. And I let it take all of my creativity out of me and just wring it out like this and I lost it. And I'm never going to lose that again because it's so important to me. Um, some of the cool things that I've been able to do 
since I've been off, and I would have probably done some of them anyway, I got to go to the WWE, I went to the TLC pay-per-view uh, in San Jose, I went to Monday Night Raw here in Sacramento, which ended up being a double show, I saw ten and a half hours of WWE live in two days, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, the vlog, I've started the vlog, and I need to be better about it, I'm going to be better about it, because I'm getting into the routine of doing it. And, you know, kind of knowing what I want to do and how I want to do it. I have an idea for the next one that I think you're going to like that's uh, kind of a little bit different than this. It's not just about me. It's a little bit about uh, photography and videography and that sort of thing. So we're going to get in more of that. Um, we'll be seeing a lot more drone shots like this one. I just want to use this to share some of the stuff that I'm creating and capturing and hopefully you enjoy it and share it with people that you like and hope maybe it'll even inspire you to do something the way um, Peter McKinnon has inspired me to try and be more creative. So a lot of stuff coming. 2019 is going to be a crazy year and uh, you know personally, professionally, the whole thing. And to an extent, I'm going to take you guys along on the journey with me. So big life events coming up this year, big career events coming up this year. And of course, lots of beautiful imagery and things to capture. And I'm going to take you along on the journey too. So I really hope you'll come along with me. Uh, if you like the video, like it, hit subscribe, uh, hit that bell for notifications and, uh, We'll have more really cool looking stuff for you coming up in 2019. Thanks for watching.